Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from gpanswers.com and today I'm going to show you about delegation with group policy. Now, it turns out this can be a little confusing because there's actually the old way and the new way to handle delegation, so I'm going to walk you through both. The first thing, let's actually kind of go over the old way first. That's actually here in Active Directory Users and Computers. You could uh, dive down under, say, uh, a particular OU in Active Directory Users and Computers and go to, say, East Sales here, just some random OU I have, and click on Delegate Control, which is a very uh, common option. In fact, we, we do this a lot in regular Active Directory. But if we click on Next, we'll actually see, well, let me add a quick user here. I'll add a guy like East Sales User 1. Maybe he's in charge. All right, so I've added this guy in. And uh, turns out, under Group Policy Land, you, there's, you can actually uh, manage uh, three or four things. Manage group policy links, which will enable this person to link GPOs over to this OU. Generate result instead of policy planning is actually a term we don't use anymore. We don't use planning. It's been replaced. We'll talk about what that is in just a minute. And also, um, generate result instead of policy logging. Also, that terminology has been replaced. But it's still here in the old world. Now, if you go ahead and click through, just say, manage group policy links just for fun, and we say finish. The downside is there's really, it's really not super obvious who's delegated to what thing here. So this isn't the preferred place to go do delegation anymore. The new way to do delegation using the GPMC is to click on the OU itself in the GPMC, all right? And then you'll click on the delegation tab, and this is where all the action occurs. Then what you'll do is you'll pick the right that you want to give somebody. And notice um, that that user is in fact listed right here, which is nice because there's really no way to do that in the old interface without turning on super advanced view and, and kind of go and digging around in there. So it's kind of nice that we can just see it right in the GPMC. So if we want to remove this guy just for fun, we'll select the right. And here are those three rights that we just saw in the old uh, interface, and they're now over here. There's link. GPOs, perform group policy modeling analysis, which is sort of a, you know, a future-looking way of figuring out what happens if somebody moves or changes job roles, or regroup policy results data. That's the thing that we use when we use GP results. So long story short, we'll go ahead and click on the, the, the GPO, uh, rather the delegation tab, um, click on link GPO, go ahead and click add, give our user a name, East Sales User 1, oops, East sales user one, and we can select if we want to do it here and downward or not. I don't have any sub OU, so it's not really relevant. And we'll click OK, and that's it. So turns out it's nicer doing it inside the GPMC because all of our delegation is all in one spot, and we can see, edit, remove anything we want all in one place. Okay, so that's it. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon online or in person real soon. Thank you.